All right, everybody, welcome back to This Hack Needs a Name. Today, we're going to take on the castle, but I'm already walking away from the castle, which means we're going to do something else first. We're going to go to Freezing Tide, because when I was doing some audio tests, I came back to these levels that have some secrets in the hopes that while I was messing around with audio and trying to make sure it was fine, that maybe I could find the secret. And turns out I found one of the secrets. I don't know where it goes or what it does, but I did find... What appears to be one of the secrets, I don't know about the other the other level, because I only did this level. So if I if this isn't the Switch Palace, then I don't know. It's probably it's probably gonna be in the other level. I also need like water immediately. Which isn't very good. Also, I know my voice is gonna sound probably kinda weird. Uh today at least, cause I uh, woke up recently. And by recently I mean not super recently, but somewhat recently. And to try to get recording done and all that stuff done. Oops. I kind of want to, like, rewind or save state because I don't want to kind of, like, leave. Yeah, I can leave. All right, it doesn't even matter. But basically, generally, like, you know, when I when I wake up, I sound kind of kind of different. I think, I think most people do. And also, here's the secret. You have to, like, swim under this. But uh, depending on the day, usually for Mario stuff, I usually try to record, like, same day. Unless my sleep schedule is, like, super messed up. And uh, I've been waking up kind of like later morning, but nothing, nothing too crazy. That kind of sucked. I woke up at like, I don't know, like 9 or 10 today, which isn't too bad, but unless I record a Mario video sometime in the next couple hours, well, this didn't bring me to the Switch Palace, so that really sucks, so it might be in the other one. I was really hoping it would be in this one, but it's not, but we got another secret level, which probably just, oh no, which probably is just going to lead me to, um... Another weird, like, here's a bunch of power-ups or something stage, because that seems to be what a lot of these are. Oh, I didn't grab the fucking fence. God damn it. I'm blaming the controller on that one. It's not hard to hit up. It's not hard to hit up. You just hit up. Like, I'm holding diagonal, and he just, like, ref I was holding diagonal that time. All those times I'm holding diagonal, and he grabs it. All of a sudden, one time, he doesn't, he doesn't want to grab the fence. I don't even know what I was talking about. But anyway, going back to what I was talking about before, my voice will sound kind of weird because I woke up. I think I woke up, like, at a really bad time during my sleep because, like, I don't know. It's I've been awake for a little bit, and I'm still, like, kind of kind of groggy, kind of, like, drowsy. Like, I don't know. It just feels weird. It feels like I just woke up even though I didn't just wake up. So this is for some power-ups and a Yoshi. That's great. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but I guess I can try to mess around in this level. I have no clue. I have no clue where the secret's at. But in one of the Mario videos, I guess I could just, like, try to fly around since I've already beaten this level. It doesn't really matter because I'm looking for a secret. But one of the other Mario videos, I don't remember which Mario video it was, but I remember I also, like, woke up and just kind of started recording pretty quickly just to get into recording because, you know, I like guess sometimes I just wake up and I don't want to wait, uh, like, a super amount of time, so I'll start recording. But my voice sounds weird, because, like, I just woke up, so I sound kind of, like, tired. And for some reason, whenever, like, that happens, I could probably just suck up a Koopa and fly everywhere. For some reason, when that happens, like, anytime my voice sounds weird, it sounds like people, or it seems like people just are, like, quick to think that I was, like, high while recording or something, because I saw that, like, a little bit last time in the last Mario video, and I was like, really? Like, I just woke up, that's it. Like, that, that's the voice right there. I just woke up. Like, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you besides that, but... Of course, the alternative is to just wait until, like, I sound a little bit more woken up, but, like, that doesn't always work, because, like, if I wait too long or, like, I never actually sound like I wake up... Which, I mean, I don't think that would happen, but it could, it could delay the recording. And uh, I might not get a video up, like a Mario video, because Mario Mario's usually pretty easy to record and get uploaded. Uh, I, I usually only record, like, 20 minutes at a time now. And that definitely wasn't the secret. Because I usually record, like, I don't know, 20 minutes at a time or so, like... Start playing 20 minutes, bam, done. And then I usually move on to, like, recording some The Last of Us, which is what I've been doing recently, or, like, something else. Usually I'll try to record, like, console stuff or something else for a longer period of time. 
so that way I can, like, render the videos out and then have Mario go up that same day, and then, like, I'll have a little bit of The Last of Us for a different day, and I'll upload old stuff. Like, that's just kind of how I generally do stuff. Um, so sometimes I do end up waking up, like, and then just trying to jump into recording, but apparently my voice sounds weird. Which, I agree. I, kn I know it sounds a little bit different, especially for this video, it's gonna sound, like, a little bit different. Also, by the way, where in Carmen San Diego is the freaking secret for this place? Like, honestly, like, where is it? I'm, I'm kind of biffed that I... Oh, wait, what's up there? There's something up there, actually. I can actually fly up there because I have this Yoshi, so that might be it. But if you think I sound weird, that's why. For some reason, even though I woke up like an hour and a half, two hours ago, I still sound tired. I still sound kind of weird. I, I swear I must have woken up at like a really bad time during my sleep. Because usually it doesn't last this long. Usually like, you know, half an hour or an hour or something. Like, okay. How did I miss that? But like now, now I just feel like, I don't know. I got none. Wow, that sucks. I've just felt a little bit out of it the, the past few days, I think. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's not good times. Is this the Switch Palace that I actually found? I found two secrets in one in the beginning of one video. Finally, we did get the Switch Palace. All right. We got that nice icy blue Switch Palace. A scrolling Switch Palace? I don't remember any scrolling Switch Palaces. Though it has been a while since I played original Super Mario World. So it could exist. It very well could exist. Also, I really don't need these these lives, but I'll take them anyway. Why not? Maybe I can hit 99 lives. I'm only 10 off. I'm only 10 off. I could do it by the end of the hack. I could also die a bunch by the end of the hack and not get anywhere close, but look at that nice icy blue, like, fr it, looks, it looks like it would taste good. I'm going to lick that a little bit. Give Yoshi a taste. Switch Palace Power of the Switch you have pushed will turn blank into blank. Your progress will also be saved. Thank God. It's not like I have save states or anything. I like how the blocks look darker blue. I thought they were going to be like nice light blue. It reminds me of like the light blue Gatorade. I don't know why. It's just got that like color. But speaking of save states, I haven't really even been using save states that much in this hack. It's pretty impressive. I've been I've been trying to do it on my own. Oh yeah, I remember this castle. Now I have to do this whole thing again because I found I found the secret exit that led to the Star World that I don't give a shit about anymore. That no one should really give a shit about at this point. Because I already did like the entire. I didn't find every secret, but I did do like the entirety of the normal exits. I think. I'm going all out for this hack. I'm doing. I'm looking for secrets. I'm doing the whole Star World. I'm not using save states as much. Pretty minimal save stating, I gotta say. There probably been haven't been a whole lot of times where I've save stated out of something, and most of the time it was like, I'm gonna check if this is death, and then it ends up being death, and it's like, all right, well, I wouldn't have checked that without save state, so give myself a little bit of a biased pass there. I'm sure not everyone will agree, but hey. That's life, baby. That's life. That, that's the wimp hiding in the snow. That's life, baby. That's life. Sometimes you just take damage to a thwimp hiding in snow. I don't even need this. This was for the secret. I guess there's a bunch of coins there. I don't care. Whatever. I'm in a, I'm in a not care kind of mood right now. But may, maybe this lack of save states will make me better at Mario hacks. Though some of them are very difficult slash roughly designed and like, I don't know, gen generally the save stating comes from like playing Mario hacks forever ago and being just like, I don't know, they were they were available to me. So I was like, I'm just going to use them. And plus like talking, especially early on, was like really hard while trying to play stuff. Because like I mentioned from time to time, you can easily go check like early Mario hack videos, like early, early ones from 2008 or 2009 or 
whenever, and uh, they're probably quite a bit different. I don't know. I, I guess I need a fire flower, maybe? Oh, no. This isn't death, is it? Is this gonna be death? This can't be death. Oh, no, it was death. Oh, no, I should have just dropped straight down. But those, like, real early Mario hacks were just, like, very rough, like... Even today, I can just, like, ramble and it's whatever, but, like... It's pretty hard when you have, like, no experience and... I don't know. It's just, it's just different. Plus, when I would be ranting about Target or a story I want to tell, like, it's really hard trying to keep your train of thought and play the game without dying over and over again. Especially for Mario hacks, that might... Uh-oh. That might be a little bit harder. And on top of that, it, like, also depends on your own skill level. So, like, what's hard to someone else might be easy to another person, you know? I don't find this hack too difficult overall. But a different person might find this to be, like, very, very, very difficult. Especially the Star World. The Star World, those levels were, like, kind of tricky. And I think, like, one thing that a lot of people might not realize is that, like, there's a very wide skill gap when it comes to just, like, dang it, gaming in general. I got hit by the Thwimp again. This keep happening to me. Like, there are people who are extremely good, there are people who are, like, not very experienced and have a rough time, and, like, you get, you get used to, like, your own skill level or the skill level of your friends, or, like, if you play competitive games, maybe you play ranked and you're constantly matched against people who are supposed to be your own skill level, so that's all you see, but, like, there, there's a very large variety of, of skill and it can be easy to, like, forget about that. When you aren't constant when you aren't constantly experiencing something like that. How's I never drank any water? Maybe, maybe I should have drank water. Well, let's try this again. I'm running out of time already. I don't know why I need the springboard, but I'm just gonna guess I should probably take it. So, yeah, I can just, like, aw, oh, man. This sucks. None of these guys give capes, either. So now I just have to, like... Do this. I have to like clear out this whole thing. Oh no. Well, I have the cape spin, so. Mario, please. Mario. This is Mario's fault at this point. This isn't my fault. I'm telling Mario what to do. And oh, we're already kind of here. How much time do I have? 57 seconds? We should be fine, right? Yeah. I'm good. We'll float down. We'll get a 30. It's good. We're fine. And now we get to move on. So far, I think I found, like, most of the Switch Palaces. I did several secrets. This is, uh... This is, like, a whole new me at this point. Oh, this looks pretty... This looks pretty bitchin'. Ghoulish grounds. Look at this. Look at this overworld. This is a pretty crazy-looking overworld. Nice, like, black and red castle over there. Oh, we got some custom music. I think this is more Donkey Kong Country music. Oh, no, my Yoshi! Oh, I'm sorry, Yoshi. I face-checked the ghost for no reason. That was that was my bad. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that wasn't Mario. That was my bad. I'm gonna have to apologize to Blue Yoshi next time I see him, which hopefully won't be in this hack, because he's not gonna be very happy that I did that. I was just so excited to get into the level, I just, you know, I just sprinted, face-checked the ghost. It happens. Happens to me at least. Maybe it doesn't happen to you because you're like way better at the game, but it happens to me. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in that. So I'll just avoid it for now. I still find it kind of weird how some levels have like custom music and. So oh man. Oh, I actually have a fire flower. Some levels have custom music and some are just like vanilla. Like usually you don't see that a whole lot, I feel like. Usually if, like, there's custom music involved, like, basically every level has it. Also, what a nightmare ship. Where are we going? Oh, no, it's the ghost house music. Oh, God. Oh, and it's lava. Oh, you can't jump on that. You can't jump on that. I thought you could jump on that. Oh, at least I didn't die. There's Yoshi coin down there. Who cares? I don't. 
You might care, I don't care. Can I just, like, jump on this guy the whole time? You can be, like, kind of cheeky and use this ghost to, like, spin jump over and over. Not that it really matters right now, but... Oh! Well... Oh, man. That was rough. Well, this level's gonna be a little bit harder now without... Without a cape. I hope this doesn't kill me. I'm jumping. I don't think that would have killed me, but just, just to be safe. Uh, can I, can I jump on these? Okay. I, I was, I was a little confused. I'm like, how am I supposed to get across this? You can jump on whatever the hell these are supposed to be. Get me out of here. Can I get a halfway point? That'd be nice. Nice, solid halfway point. Oh, I didn't even want to grab. See, I was holding down that time, and then he grabbed it. Like, uh, the control, the, the controller is just kind of weird. I remember having issues like this with the old emulator that I used to use. And I thought it was mostly like a controller problem, but I don't know if it's just like... I don't know. Kind of weird. For the longest, I thought it was the specific controller I was using, but... Then I got a new controller. This was like forever ago. I got a new controller and it was like the same problem, so... Feel like, I feel like some of the inputs just get biffed when you're trying to use a controller on PC, or more specifically, it might just be, like, an emulator kind of thing. Where, like, certain diagonal or directional inputs are just kind of red, kind of wonky, so... Oh, purple Switch Palace! We already found the purple Switch Palace. Hell yeah. Nice purple Switch Palace with a bunch of coins so I can get a bunch of free lives here again. Keep working towards that 100 free lives. Well, I think you can only get 99, but... Oh, yeah, there's a one-up right there. Well, unfortunately, Coin Town has left, so... And I don't think there's another P-Switch, so... Oh, there's another P-Switch! Hey, look at that. We're back to Coin Town, everybody. Oh, kind of messed that up. It's fine. We'll keep going. Look at that. 95 lives. Beautiful. I could hit the coveted 99. It's possible. I might also hit 2 million score. I'm like just over halfway to 2 million. And now we get some nice purple blocks. So hopefully, if by chance... For some reason, you need, like, all of the Switch Palaces to beat this hack. I've got, like, almost all of them, if not all of them now. I don't even remember how many there are total, but there's probably, like, I don't know, like, five or so, give or take. Four or five, at least I didn't run into that ghost that time. I don't have a Yoshi, but... Can't get over that... Nope, can't get over that tube. Pipe, tube pipe. The type... It's not a very good combo. Oh no. That was close. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Rough times. I like the colors that he uses in his world a lot. This like nice like dark blue slash like purpley color with the red. This one's even darker. This one's like more of a purple. Interesting. Interesting color schemes, interesting music choices. Except for the vanilla music that pops up sometimes. Kind of weird. Hey, found found halfway point. I wish I knew the answer to why there's some vanilla music and why there's some custom music. It's not like I'm like mad about it or anything. It's just like I don't know. I just I just want the I just want the the, the lore of it, you know. He just maybe the, maybe the person who made the hack just likes some of the vanilla music here and there, or maybe they didn't feel like adding in a ton of custom music. Who knows? The song's pretty good. Is this Donkey Kong Country music? It kind of sounds like it, but kind of like not. Maybe it's not Donkey Kong Country music. If it's not, like, it sounds like it really could be, though. <laughs> it's 
it's got that kind of like old Donkey Kong Country feel to it. Which is good. I, I really like the music in the old Donkey Kong Countries. Even some of the newer ones. Some of the like returns and like Tropical Freeze. Like they were pretty good. Six Feet Under. Well, that sounds foreboding. Well, when we come back next time, we'll take on Six Feet Under. And uh, that's probably about it. We found the Switch Palace. Purple Switch Palace already done over here. Very good. Look at that. I'm standing on it. Pressed it in. And uh, we'll, we'll take on Six Feet Under and probably the rest of World 6 and move into World 7 since it only looks like there's probably like, I don't know what, three or four total levels left in this world. Unless I find a secret and including the castle. So we'll see what happens next time, but that's going to be for next time. I'll see you guys then.